Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another reaction this episode. We're diving into Marvel's Agents of Shield season two, episode number seventeen, called Melinda. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions of the episodes extra. Early. Well, with that being said, Melinda, I'm guessing they're talking about May. Probably gonna be favoring May a lot in this episode. I like May. I mean, she rubbed me off a little wrong a couple episodes in the first season, but nonetheless, she's been very loyal to Coast and very uh, trustworthy. And so, an episode surrounding her, the actress is really good. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we, you know, also have with Sky uh, a little relationship going on with Lincoln. Obviously, her her mother as well is going to be her guide. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, again, I said the supernatural stuff to me has been a little odd. It hasn't hit me uh, probably as much as it hit other people, but I'm still giving it a chance. Uh, sorry about that. Still giving it a chance and definitely uh, wanting to know more about it. Something interesting to me, so I'll definitely look forward to that as well. But with that being said, buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be a hell reason. Uh, not in my house. My house has rules. Oh, so you plan on being exactly like your own mother? With a few modifications, yes. <sighs> He's always early. Stall him. Come on in, it's open. Hmm. Take Earth's Mightiest to find out if they're heroes. And you mentioned this because you want my help? Well, I know you got the family planning thing going I'm on. I'm staying in I... the field. Good, because you'd be great. And that way we could keep working together. Mm -hmm. uh, one mission at a time. Look alive. Agent Hart, you got it, Phil. Gather up. Meet Eva Bill. He wasn't an active asset. Seems pretty active to me. Do you expect us to believe he's not part of Theta Protocol? You can at least tell us what you do know about it. Coulson doesn't bore me with the details of every little operation. May, we know this is massive. We have evidence that Coulson has quietly been moving alarming amounts of resources and manpower all over the globe. The only thing we did something like this, a lot of people got hurt. You can't hurt the mountain. And you're not gonna hurt me. Don't be afraid. I don't think it's gonna happen, right? Hello, may I? My name is Phil Coulson, and I'm here to help. My group specializes in helping people like you who have gifts. And why should I trust you? Because I can take you somewhere safe. Hey, Lincoln. Yeah. If she's in charge, how often does she train people? But since I've been here, let me see. Uh, never. I wonder when she'll find out she truly is. Saw the look on your face. We tried it the nice way. It's time for my team to do its job. Let's move right. out! A lot of death. I don't like the idea of this. I should go in. Let them do their thing. Now we find out what kind of monster we're dealing with. Easy. This will help. Unless you're removing them. You're not helping at all. Once you give... That building just swallowed 12 agents in a minute. We're alone on this. Okay. I play a note. You hold it. Okay. Two years anywhere. The second I made friends at the orphanage, gone. God forbid I call the foster family home. Just pack your bags. I got the news on my birthday once, which is a complete farce because I don't even know when I was born. I'm so sorry. Shield was the closest I ever came to having. It's you. It's her. You're my 
Deep down, I think he knew. I was too afraid to hope. Ooh, man, I'm glad they cut away. That one got emotional for a second. Contact, I answer the call. And it means we've got work to do. Were you aware that you've been working on Deathlock technology? Oh, no, you're mistaken. That's a design for a hybrid capacitor. No, it's Deathlock's supercharged battery pack. And that may not be the only thing he kept from us. Did Coulson ever talk to you about a project named Theta Protocol? May I have no idea what that is? Colonel, oh, it didn't work. Can't send your men in there. A biological weapon was set off. Nasty stuff. Flesh eating. Weapon sale gone bad with the Russians. Give my team time to assess. Did you say biological weapon? Yes, I did. Bought time. <laughs> it did work. Who is controlling you? Hart, that woman is controlling you. I want your pain. Really hope she does, has People like us have to live differently, but it doesn't mean it can't be an amazing world. As long as I have you to show it to me. <laughs> She fell for that? What the hell? Katya had to be stopped, but not by S.H.I.E.L.D. She was my responsibility. You made the rules, and now you're afraid they'll think you broke them for me. Our people know too well what a woman will do for her daughter. Dude, this is awesome. This is cool. Finally, we get an episode like this. That was possible because of you. Cal, uh, Sky doesn't know when her birthday is. I do. July 2nd. Hmm. Anyway, once we figured out the car situation, did I tell you it was either the dragon? I dream of Sky and her father at dinner, a bouquet of daisies, and she's so happy. I'm being followed. They won't grab me. I think they're hoping I'll lead them to you first. Think oh, that's exactly what's Would happened. it still be okay if I came and hung out with you? Maybe you could show me how to shake a tail. Maybe you could start, like, now? You in a bathroom? With one of those electric hand dryers? Uh, oh, yes. You're gonna be okay, mate. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, season two, episode number 17 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, first things first, man, all the Melinda May stuff, like, that was awesome, man. Like, to me, them tying it in to the, the, the storyline of her, you know, no longer doing it when we first started watching the show and making a big deal about Coulson getting her to join the squad. Like, now finally getting the closure as to why... You know, her marriage was all screwed up with Andrew and I, you know, the reasons behind her no longer wanting to be on the field, like they're all valid. They're all really legit reasons. The fact that we finally got an episode like that, definitely really refreshing. 
I think it was one of the the better episodes in that standpoint. Um, me honestly though, just I I'm trying my hardest to care about Cal, and you know, the whole situation that happened just comes off as a creep, hundred percent a creep, and so like really hard. I mean, to feel for him. Obviously, he was in a situation, sky and everything, but some reason, man, being over there, it just doesn't, it's not into it as, as much as I want to be into it. And I keep trying to give it uh, a chance. For some reason, it's just, it's just odd. It, it doesn't make the show feel like S.H.I.E.L.D. anymore. And I don't know if that's the route they were going for or whatever the case may be. Maybe they're trying to say that, you know, Sky is bigger than S.H.I.E.L.D. and uh, now that she's gained these powers, she's sort of she's sort of too much for for Shield. I I enjoyed her as an agent. I thought the beginning half of the season when she was an agent under May, it was awesome. Loved every bit of it. But obviously, going into the mist, trying to make that big sort of thing, and so I'm not entirely sure what what to expect when it comes to Sky and her future. So we'll just continue to sort of obviously watch these episodes and just learn as much as we can, I guess you can say, because obviously whenever they start to talk too much into these supernatural things, powers and all that stuff, you know, for me, it's always been something that I struggled to pay attention to and to sort of grasp the way they want me to grasp it. I, I kind of just try to take it, step by step and, and, and gain as much knowledge as I possibly can. Because again, I, at the end of the day, I'm not used to anything from the ordinary TV show, you know, like, like shield and, and well, those are, those are shows that are kind of out there in a sense where you sit there and think about, I guess you can say arrow or daredevil or still powers involved. It just feels a little different from, which isn't a knock toward just something that, you know, it's taken me a little bit uh, more to sort of grasp it and quite understand what's going on. And I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys probably watched episodes and were confused afterwards too. And so again, I really enjoyed the May stuff. I think the May storyline probably be, could probably be something around a nine. I think even with Sky and like and like that emotional moment with her mother finding her mom, like it was very touching, and I'm glad in a sense it cut away for a little moment because I definitely was starting to to feel the emotion almost coming out of myself, and so I was like, like <laughs> "Ooh, that little cutaway saved me! It saved me a moment because I definitely was gonna be here in tears." And it was sad in the sense of like. Man, she's been through so much. Face to face, mother. Her being her guide, and teaching her little things here and there. Like it's all cool. Like the whole mountain moment was really cool. The moment when she's trying to control the, the the frequency of the glasses. I knew that the, eventually it was gonna shatter. Just just the moment that they're sharing right now seems impactful. So. I really enjoy that. Feel for Raina is the way Raina views it. That Sky got the best end of this. Came out with really cool power. It's to be bad in a sense. He has no nothing from the outside, you know, part of her skin or anything. Like she doesn't have thorns. She doesn't have any, like she didn't become this in a sense hideous beast. And she's just good to go. She's still, you know, and so I feel bad for Raina. They both were in there. She just got the shit end of it. But it seems as though they showcase that Raina's going to have the ability to see the future. You know, that's her gift. Then, you know, that's a really cool gift. It reminds me a lot of like, Heroes. Watched Heroes season one. And so me, I find it really cool to be able to not even predict the future, see the future. 
And it seems as though she has to see the future through sleep, in a sense. Or she thinks they're nightmares. But if that's her power, that's awesome. I don't, I don't know how Lincoln's rubbing off on me yet. He seemed pretty cool in the first episode when they revealed him. Uh, when they showcased him. And now, a little look right there. I don't know if it was like a look of reassurance that, uh, indeed, Reyna does have a gift. Or if it was like sort of a... Uh, What's going on? Because no one was supposed to know about this guy's mother and this guy, you know, being mother and daughter. Now Lincoln knows. Not good because then Lincoln might tell Gordon and then it could be a whole messy situation. Unless Gordon already knows. I'm pretty sure Gordon already knows. I don't know. It's just, it's interesting. I really enjoyed the May stuff a lot. The Sky stuff had emotional moments that really made me feel for her and obviously for Reyna. I think overall, though, I'll give the episode an 8. I'm not entirely sure. It's probably like a solid 8. Uh, nothing high, nothing low. Just It's just an 8 for me. and It's kind of a bummer because there's such such good things going on. Obviously, now it fits you know, figuring out how to open up Jury's little box and now reaching out to Colson himself and Hunter and how they're going to be, a, he, he's going to be taught how to <laughs> lose a tail, which is awesome because they're trying the idea from the shield, the real shield was to have the release fits and hope that fits brings them to Colson be able to shake his tail and, and get out of there. That's awesome. I don't know what it means when they were, you know, I don't know if may sort of trying to play the act, like she's all in on the, the real shield and then just kind of sort of be doing shit on her own. What the case may be. I always feel loyal to May. I always feel loyal to Simmons. I always feel loyal to, you know, the, the specific group that we started off with, you know, obviously. Ward, but that's another person. I thought we were going to see Ward this episode. We didn't get any of Ward this episode. Um, I wonder where he's off. What, like, what is he doing? But uh, nonetheless, solid episode. Enjoyed it. No, 17. So I think we have, yeah, about five more to go. So it should be interesting. It's, I want to see how they end this. Are they going to go the route of, you know, Sky embracing these powers? Will she ever join the agent team again? Uh, the S.H.I.E.L.D. team? Who knows? Like, I think she's above S.H.I.E.L.D. I think that. It would be kind of hard to envision her as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent anymore. But, you know, I really enjoyed following her. And I feel like in a sense, even though it's this story about, you know, the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's so heavy with Coulson, I feel like we're equally as heavy with Sky and what's going on with her. So it would suck to see her go from, you know, hacker when we first met her, you know, an agent in the beginning of the season. Doesn't even mesh or blend with shield anymore like that would be definitely something hard to swallow but nonetheless that's the episode hopefully you do hopefully reaction don't forget to like comment subscribe head on over to patreon unedited reactions over there extra over there as well said catch you guys